from the Thomas and Mack Center at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I'm Chris Wallace of Fox News. And I welcome you to the third and final of the 2016 presidential debates. This is that I am going to appoint, and I've named 20 of them. The justices that I'm going to appoint will be pro-life. They will have a conservative bent. Uh, they will be protecting the Second Amendment. They are great scholars in all cases, and they're people of tremendous respect. Do you want to see the court overturn? You just said you want to see the court protect the Second Amendment. Do you want to see the court overturn Roe Well, if Webb? we put another two or perhaps three justices on, that's really what's going to be, ha that will happen. He said women should be punished, that there should be some form of punishment uh, for women uh, who obtain abortions, and I could just not be more opposed to that kind of thinking. Mr. Trump, you want to build a wall. Secretary Clinton, you have offered no specific plan for how you want to secure our southern border. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. And the Border Patrol, ICE, they all want the wall. We stop the drugs. We, we shore up the border. One of my first acts will be to get all of the drug lords, all of the bad ones. We have some bad, bad people in this country that have to go out. We're going to get them out. We're going to secure the border. And once the border is secured, at a later date, we'll make a determination as to the rest. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. We have 11 million undocumented people. They have 4 million American citizen children, 15 million people. He said as recently as a few weeks ago in Phoenix that every undocumented person would be subject to deportation. Now, here's what that means. It means you would have to have a massive law enforcement presence, where law enforcement officers would be going school to school, home to home, business to business, rounding up people who are undocumented. I have been for border security for years, and my comprehensive immigration reform plan, of course, includes border security. But I want to put our resources where I think they're most needed, getting rid of any violent person Anybody who should be deported, we should deport them. When it comes to the wall that Donald talks about building, he went to Mexico, he had a meeting with the Mexican president, didn't even raise it, he choked. She wants open borders, now we can talk about Putin. I don't know Putin. He said nice things about me. If we got along well, that would be good. If Russia and the United States got along well and went after ISIS, that would be good. Putin, well, wait, wait, wait. from everything I see, has no respect for this Person. Well, that's because he'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet, States. No puppet. And it's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's pretty clear you won't admit no, that the, the Russians have engaged in cyber attacks against the United States of America. Talk, she Mr. doesn't Trump. like Mr. Putin because Putin Mr. has outsmarted her at every Mr. step Trump, of the way. I, I, Excuse I, me. Mr. Putin has Mr. outsmarted Trump, her in Mr. Syria. Trump, He's outsmarted her here. every step of the way. When President Obama came into office, he inherited the worst economic disaster since the Great Depression. He has cut the deficit by two-thirds. I personally believe that the steps that President Obama took saved the economy. He doesn't get the credit he deserves for taking some very hard positions. And you do have experience. I say the one thing you have over me is experience, but it's bad experience, because what you've done has turned out badly. For 30 years, you've been in a position to help and if you say that I use steel or I use something else, I make it impossible for me to do that. I wouldn't mind. The problem is you talk, but you don't get anything done, Hillary. You don't. Just like when you ran the State Department, $6 billion was missing. How do you miss $6 billion? You ran the State Department, $6 billion was either stolen, they don't know. It's gone, $6 billion. If you become president, this country is going to be in some mess, believe me. I think it's really an important issue. He raised the 30 years of experience. So let me just talk briefly about that. You know, back in the 1970s, I worked for the Children's Defense Fund, and I was taking on uh, discrimination against African-American kids in schools. He was getting sued by the Justice Department for racial discrimination in his apartment buildings. In the 1980s, I was working to reform the schools in Arkansas. He was borrowing $14 million from his father to start his businesses. In the 1990s, I went to Beijing, and I said, women's rights are human rights. He insulted a former Miss Universe, Alicia Machado, called her a, an eating machine. And on the day when I was in the Situation Room, 
monitoring the raid that brought Osama bin Laden to justice. He was hosting The Celebrity Apprentice. Well, I think I did a much better job. I built a massive company, a great company, some of the greatest assets any in the, anywhere in the world, uh, worth many, many billions of dollars. Uh, I started with a $1 million loan. I agree with that. It's a $1 million loan, but I built a phenomenal company. And if we could run our country the way I've run my company, we would have a country that you would be so proud of. You would even be proud of it. And frankly, uh, when you look at her real record, take a look at Syria, take a look at the migration, take a look at Libya, take a look at Iraq. She gave us ISIS because her and Obama created this huge vacuum. Nine women have come forward and said that you either groped them or kissed them without their consent. Why would so many different women from so many different circumstances over so many different years, why would they all in this last couple of weeks make up? You deny this. Why would they all make up these stories? The stories have been largely debunked. Uh, those people, I don't know those people. I have a feeling how they came. I believe it was her campaign that did it. Just like if you look at what came out today on the clips where I was wondering what happened with my rally in Chicago and other rallies where we had such violence. She's the one in Obama that caused the violence. You know, Donald thinks belittling women makes him bigger. But what is really troubling uh, is that we learned in the last debate he has not paid a penny in federal income tax. And we were talking about immigrants a few minutes ago, Chris. You know, half of all immigrants, undocumented immigrants in our country, actually pay federal income tax. So we have undocumented immigrants in America who are paying more federal income tax than a billionaire. No matter how hard fought a campaign is, that at the end of the campaign, that the loser concedes to the winner, not saying that you're necessarily going to be the loser or the winner, but that the loser concedes to the winner and that the country comes together in part for the good of the country, are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Well, okay? Chris, let me respond to that because that's horrifying. You know, every time Donald thinks things are not going in his direction, he claims whatever it is is rigged against him. I, there was even a time when he didn't get an Emmy for his TV program three years in a row, and he started tweeting that the Emmys were rigged against him. Should have gotten it. This, <laughs> this is a mindset. This is, this is how Donald thinks. Now, John Podesta said you have terrible instincts. Bernie Sanders said you have bad judgment. I agree with both. You are the most dangerous person to run for president in the modern history of America.